What's going on there, guys? We back with another one, and we got to talk about Dylan Brooks. He's already disrespected Victor Wimayama, and we're going to look at the similarities of the way he just disrespected Victor and how he disrespected LeBron James last year now. He was asked about his opportunity to see Victor for the first time up close in person. And you don't have to overly uh, praise him, but, you know, people have had some nice things to say about him. You know, that's been LeBron, Giannis, and these guys haven't even played against him. But if you look at some of the vets, uh, like even uh, the recently retired Udonis Haslam, had a lot of great things to say about Wimby um, when he was on NBA TV, right? So why in the world would he say this? Let's check it out. What was some of your major takeaways from seeing Wimby for the first time in person? He's tall. <laughs> That's really it. Uh, He's got to be an NBA veteran to catch that one. <laughs> was, uh, you know, and when they started making a run. There are some people, the Lakers are making that run, they get it to 14. You and LeBron have that exchange. There are people out there that say, maybe maybe you shouldn't do that with one of the better players in the game. What, I guess, what, what were you thinking? I don't care. He's old. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's... I was waiting for that. I was expecting him to do that game four, game five. He wanted to say something when I got my fourth foul. Um, he should have been saying that earlier on. Uh, so, yeah, man, this is the hill that Dylan Brooks is going to die on. And there's nothing wrong with him being a competitive player. Don't think I'm against players being competitive. But there's a fine line to where you get kind of disrespectful. And I think, you know, Wimby... You could say the young man has a bright future, has big time upside. Because for one, Dylan Brooks, if you haven't learned nothing by now, and I said this when you were in the midst of your chattering, like you were John ja Morant in Memphis, you were expendable the entire time. So you don't want to go make enemies with every team because it ain't but so many in the league. And, you know, Houston, they saw the value and you brought you in, thankfully, and you got paid. So I'm happy about that, but you're one of these guys that can end up in a two, three team deal and you end up on Wimby's roster. Now Wimby remember what you had to say about him, you know, back then. Now, I, again, that could be sensitive and I know people talk junk, but he's a young player coming into the league. Like you could, you can even say he has a lot of potential, but when I, we play him, I'm gonna get up into him and really make him work. That's totally different than just saying he's just another tall player. He's, he's ashamed to beat, basically, is what he's trying to say about him. So let me know what you guys think about Dylan Brooks' comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.